Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to talk about the show version command quite simply because it's an extremely useful command and you'll probably want to use it all the time. Not only does it give you information about the hardware setup, but it also tells you a lot of information about the software running on the router. And it can also be used in troubleshooting purposes. So if there's this one command that tells you a lot of information about the, the, the basic information about the router, this is it, the show version command. So we're going to go through the output, see why the information is so important, and then we'll jump on a router and take a look at a real example. So to start, we get to learn about the hardware configuration of the router. For instance, the show version command will tell you what different types of interfaces are on the router and how many of them exist as well. So for instance, it could tell you there are four fast Ethernet interfaces and two serial interfaces. So it's a good way to get acquainted with the hardware setup of this particular router. On the software side, the show version command tells you what iOS version you're currently running. That's always good to know because different versions have different features. Perhaps there's a bug in one and you need to upgrade it and you might be suffering from that bug. Well, the only way to tell that is to figure out what version you're running. Likewise, related to the iOS, it tells you where the image was loaded from. So for instance, you might have the router set up to load the image from Flash or perhaps from a TFTP server. So again, just more basic information about how your router is set up to function. We also learn a good amount of information about the memory, not only the random access memory, but the flash as well. And both of these are useful in terms of the types of, uh, in terms of determining the types of iOSs you can run on a particular platform. The uptime of the router can be learned from the show version command. This, for obvious reasons, can be very useful if you're looking at a router and perhaps troubleshooting a problem, you can take a look at how long it's been running. Obviously, if it's, if it's running for a shorter amount of time than you expected, perhaps you had a reload of some kind. Related to that, the, the show version command will tell you why the router last reloaded. So that could mean somebody power cycled it, or perhaps somebody issued the reload command, or even in some cases, it'll tell you it reloaded because of some error that happened. So that's an extremely useful tool when you're troubleshooting problems. And then finally, the show version command tells us about the configuration register. If you haven't yet checked out that tutorial, please do so. The configuration register is in charge of determining not only the iOS and how it's loaded, but also different configuration files, and it's a very powerful tool. Well, you can confirm how your router's configuration register is set up just by looking at the show version command. Okay, so there's a lot here. Let's jump on a router and issue this command and take a look at the output. So from the router command line, I will issue the show version command. And we will start from the top and work our way down. So immediately we start to learn about the iOS and the version. So here we're, we're running version 12.320. Just below this is some technical Cisco support information. We can skip over that. This next section here, though, is important. Here we're learning the version of the bootstrap program on this particular router. Now keep in mind, the bootstrap is used to help us load the actual iOS. So not only knowing the iOS version, but knowing the bootstrap version is important, sometimes because there are requirements of an iOS requiring a certain version number of a bootstrap program. It depends. Um, usually this falls into the category of when you're upgrading routers. So this kind of information is helpful in an administrative sense. So moving down some more, we see that router 1 has an uptime of 34 minutes. And just below that, it's telling us how it was turned on, or the reason why it was reloaded. So here it says, system returned to ROM by power on. Power on means it was reloaded using the power switch. In fact, I walked over to it, it was off, and I turned it on. Like I mentioned, you could see other values here, like reload or perhaps an error message of some kind if the router reloaded because of a software error or perhaps a hardware error. And then just below this, we see the system image file is, and it tells us where it's loading the actual image from. So it says flash, and then it tells us the name of the file. So that is the iOS right there. And then we know just by looking at this that it's stored in the flash memory. Again, this could also say something else like TFTP if we loaded it from a remote server. 
All right, so continuing, we see here Cisco 3620. Now we're actually learning the actual model of this router. It's a Cisco 3620. And if we proceed down that same line, we see some information about the random access memory. Now, sometimes this is split. Um, it depends on the, the router and the iOS that's running, but sometimes you see two numbers and you have to add them together in order to learn the total amount of RAM currently on this router. Let's move down just a little bit more, and here we learn something about the hardware configuration. You can see we have four Ethernet interfaces and one serial interface. Also on here, we can see we have 29K of NVRAM, and we have about 32K of System Flash. Now keep in mind, System Flash is used to store files like the iOS, so if you're planning to upgrade this router, you have to find an image that is no bigger than 32K. So that's why seeing this kind of information and being able to easily access it is really useful in terms of administrating the router. And then finally, we see information about the configuration register. Here it's set to 2102. If it had changed, not only would it tell us the 2102, but it would tell us what it will be the next time the router loads. Again, take a look at that configuration register tutorial for details on that. Okay, so that's it. That is the show version command and all of the useful information it tells us. This differs, obviously, from router to router. So if you have a few in your lab or access, access to some elsewhere, log in and issue this command. It's a great way to initially get acquainted with the router you're working on. And it's a good idea in the beginning to issue this command as soon as you log in. That way you know what you're working with. Okay, thanks for watching.